Hey guys, well, Wave Function here, and I just wanted to show you Four Science. Four Science is like autopilot for science. And what it does is it intelligently figures out what experiments are on, on your vessel and will run those experiments, and it will automatically collect the data. Just like as it, if you had run everything with an action group or by right clicking on it, and then gotten out an EVA and collected the data and then stored it back in the pot. So it just removes a little bit of tedium and uh, and kind of smooths everything out as far as uh, collecting science goes. It's all very uh, very easy to use. There is uh, only one setting in for science and that is on it when it's green and off when it's red. And that's how you know. Uh, there is one little quirk. Uh, Jebediah is not a scientist so it is not going to run the uh, Science Junior or Mystery Goo or any other uh, science modules that are not resettable that require a scientist to reset. So if you want to run those you have to run those manually. It will still automatically collect it so that's something to be aware of. As soon as you press that button it's going to be, to, it's going to be collected. But the add-on automatically detects where you are and uh, what science you have uh, left to get and will automatically detect it. So as you can see we just entered a new biome. We just uh, got two new uh, experiment reports all automatically. And let's head out here to another vessel I have which is, uh, which is docked uh, which actually has a scientist on board that we can dock to. As you can see here, hopefully it won't mess up. See, even caught the little flying over Kerbin that uh, we. <laughs> so it'll even catch those little neat tricks where you can just kind of jump up in the air and uh, and uh, get a a, a flying uh, flying report. As you can see, it's actually detecting these special biomes here around KSC. It'll even detect this little flagpole here. There you go, flagpole. You can bump into buildings. Uh, some of these buildings are special biomes, like this is like main lab and this is side lab and stuff. You can bump into them and it'll give you uh, the science from there if you want it to. But if you do have a scientist on board, when you dock, it'll automatically see all that spam right there. I, I had a whole bunch of science already in this vessel right here. So it what it did whenever we docked them together is it figured out it chose one of these command pods and then stored all the data there and just as if you'd stored it by EVA it uh, it then uh, stored it all in one command pod and got rid of all the duplicates so if you ever want to review your data or uh, or transmit it or send it to the science lab you just right click and then uh, and then review your your data and uh, choose what you want to do but as you can see it's uh, very easy to use uh, let's see here we now have a verbal or whatever his name is he is actually a scientist which means that uh, whenever we enter a new area see we're getting material studies now whenever we enter uh, New area, so it's running the resettable experiments just like you could just EVA and gather the data. Since you can just EVA and reset the experiments with a scientist on board, uh, it goes ahead and runs those for you, so you don't have to worry about it. And yeah, see, look at all that. And that's about all you really need to know to use for science. Like I said, it's very easy to use. Uh, the only thing, uh, if you notice, you don't get the little experiment dialog. I found that playing around uh, with it, seeing those dialogs pop up all the time, ends up being kind of a nuisance. So you can actually use, uh, if you are going to like be manually running experiments, you can actually use seeing the the little uh, yellow text up here to tell you, oh, we entered a new area, and you know that you can uh, use that, uh, you know, manually run an experiment if you want. Anyway, that is for science, and I hope you enjoy it, and have a nice day.